Hi everyone, today's video is going to be how to set up OCaml in Eclipse for the Mac. Eclipse is the IDE that supports OCaml and some, with some plugins which makes writing code much easier. For this to happen, we need to install three things. We need Java, then we need to install Eclipse, and finally we're going to install a plugin called Ocal IDE inside Eclipse. So Eclipse needs a version of Java that's 1.7 or higher. So let's start by installing Java. So what you want to type in to command prompt uh, is java space hyphen version. This will tell you the version of Java that you're running. Um, in my case, you can see that it's 1.8.0. Uh, so you just make sure you're 1.7 or greater for the more recent versions of Eclipse. If you don't have Java, it's going to say a command not found. So if you have to install Java, uh, you can just go Google install Java Oracle, go to the Oracle website, uh, just click on the first link that you see in Google, and you can see that you can download one of the most recent versions of Java here. It's 11, but um, whichever version you see on top, it should do fine. So once we've got Java installed, let's get down to installing Eclipse. So you can just go to the Eclipse website, just Google Eclipse installer, install anything that both work. And you'll see that Eclipse download show up. And you can download the most recent one. Uh, you can get the 64 bit. If 64 bit gives you trouble or your machine is a 32 bit machine, uh, definitely check that out and get the correct version for yourself. So once you've installed Eclipse, uh, just open it up and you should see this window come up. You see I'm circling the OCaml tab. Uh, you'll see this tab come up once we're done. That's the target. And you'll see an OCaml top level tab as well. So we want that to come in too. So let's start by going to help, install new. Uh, you might see install new software like I do here. And enter the link it's uh, I'll put the link down below in the description but it's algo-prog.info ok um, and just once you've put that in you want to put in you want to check the ocal ID category so let me just you know, wait for that and it should come up in a second Yep, there you see it. So it's the OCal IDE. Uh, you want to check this box on the left of it. And um, that should just hit next twice and accept all the agreements. Click finish and the plugin should download. And it, uh, you just accept everything and you'll have to restart Eclipse. Uh, after that, you should be done with this installation. I've already got everything installed, so I might not do all of this all over again. So we've got our two tabs, the OCaml top level and the OCaml tab in the top right. Now let's get down to business. So you want to click on File, New, OCaml Managed Project, not the Managed Project. And then just right click on the newly created project once it comes through. Uh, you can give any project name that you like. I'm going to put in OCaml setup. Uh, you can choose the default location where you want to save the project. Just click next. Um, we don't want any references right now. So there you go. You've got your first project setup. And now what you want to do, you want to import some files in here. So what you want to do is click import, then general, then file system, and then just click on next once you're here. And you can 
select your directory wherever you want to import files from and that should import the files into the location that you're uh, working on I've already got the, all the files I need and when we do the homework setup I'll show you guys how to actually work with this um, and now once we're here let's just see how to make an executable how to run the files that we're looking, interested in so you just go to properties and then OCaml project whichever files you imported you should be able to see the make executable for and then you'll see the file names right there uh, make sure to leave the compilation mode as bytecode um, and from there on you can click on OK just click tick on whatever you want should run and that should get you set up uh, with the OCaml project now let's try some basic OCaml code in the top level. So the top level is a place where you can play around with code and for the first few lessons we'll be working there. It's the tab which you see clicked right now in the bottom half of the screen right there. Uh, so you can type in any OCaml code here and it should compile just as any uh, any regular project. So let's just try it with print statement. So just print string, we'll print a string of characters print string welcome to OCaml and if you just press enter you should see it get printed there you go thanks guys that's all for today